It's been a minute since I've done a video. So today we're actually going to do this quick video and unbox everything that I have right here. And as you can see from the thumbnail, we got a new suspension for Beastie and I'm super stoked. We got, I don't have all the boxes here, but I'm going to show you the main things for the new upgrade for this weekend. So, uh, cause that we're going to go get this thing installed this weekend and I'm super pumped. Um, so really quick, we're going to start off with this box. Uh, <laughs> this box is, are the upper control arms and these I got and I'll explain why I went with what I went with. Um, but these are from Thrashed Off-Road. So big shout out to them uh, for sending these ones out. I'm super, super excited to get these on. Uh, and if you guys wanna get some for your Tacoma, your Tundra, uh, I believe they have other models too. But uh, basically if you wanna get anything off their website, you can use code BCTACO. Look at that. Super sick. Oh, it's gonna look so good. Um, so we got these. Now for the main, we got um, the suspension. So I went with Rep Country Vertex. And I went with this because one, um, I don't do a lot of off-roading, so there is really no point in me spending a ton of money on a suspension if I I don't do it, uh, you know, go off-roading or anything. So there's no point in that. Um, yes, probably in the long run it would have been better, but budget-wise, my bank account told me no. So uh, we went with the Rough Country Vertex. So. This is the, uh, this is for the rear. And then it comes with the uh, external reservoir and it's adjustable. So super, super stoked to try this out. And not only that, but I went with them um, because it was just affordable to be honest. So uh, I, went, I went with that, that route. Um, and I know a lot of people are probably gonna say some stuff about rough country, but um, you know, I've never tried them. And so for me, I'm not gonna not try them because a lot of people have said certain things about them. Yeah, there's better options out there, but whatever. I, I thought that these look good. They had good reviews and uh, everybody who has them on their Tacoma, I reached out to you and nobody had any complaints whatsoever. So um, I'm super excited to get these installed. So I've had these for a couple months now, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had these for a couple months now um, and just been waiting Really, I had to wait two months to get uh, my upper control arms as they were, uh, there was just a big weight on them lead time. So uh, I had to wait on that. And um, yeah, so for right now, I have everything so far. And shout out to my brother-in-law who's gonna put these in because I'm not mechanically inclined to uh, put them in myself. <laughs> Come see these, come see these, come see these. Come in, come in, come in. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> these are freaking massive. Like, the box is heavy. Everything about this is heavy. I honestly didn't realize how big coilovers are. And it's just insane how huge these things are. So... Same thing, external resi, adjustable. Um, so I'm excited to make some content for you guys. Um, get some good reviews because there's only a few videos out on YouTube of, of these. A um, lot of reviews though, like on 
uh, Rough Country and basically Google. Um, but as far as YouTube, there's not very many videos. There's some install videos, but nothing where people kind of go into depth, but except for Jesse. So shout out to him because I watched his video and it was good enough for me to purchase the whole kit. So this whole kit uh, from Rough Country is the three inch lift. So we're gonna go up a little bit in, in lift on BC. Um, comes with the front coils, the rear, uh, or the rear two. And then uh, we also got I guess the block that goes uh, for the leaf springs. So it's basically everything that I needed to install everything. Then I got the uh, upper control arms because I might as well, since we're there, might as well upgrade that too. So I'm pretty excited. I'm stoked. I am super, I cannot wait to see how it rides. Um, I cannot wait to see how it looks. Uh, everything put together because yeah. I think the red from the upper control arms is gonna go super good with the little red accents from the suspension. So I'm pretty, I'm just excited. I'm just super, <laughs> super excited. Um, other than that, I can't wait. Uh, I'm gonna get some video for you guys this weekend. A little bit of the install. We're not gonna go super in depth on how to um, because I want to get this installed as fast as I can because Sunday the Seahawks play, so I'm trying to watch that. Um, other than that, I'll get some video. Then we'll need to go get a, an alignment and uh, then we'll maybe we'll do a little trail run and see how, how well these things do. So um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Um, again, I know there's a lot of different options when it comes to suspension, but this was the best option for me um in my build and what i use my truck for so i know a lot of people are going to say kings and or fox or whatever but i think for my first suspension upgrade i think this is pretty good um i think i'm going to be pretty happy with it and uh, i can't wait to tell you guys how well it does and yeah so let me know down in the comments what you guys think let me know uh, if you love these upper control arms. And again, if you guys want to get some for yourself, the link will be down in the description. And use code BC Taco. See you guys on the next video. Peace out.